it's been a week. Welcome to the vlog. Today is the day after Thanksgiving. I had already started decorating last weekend, but then just everything happened. We all got sick. <laughs> Every single one of us got sick. And um, my dryer went out and then my car won't start. So <laughs> thankfully we were still able to have Thanksgiving. Everyone was back feeling well enough to have Thanksgiving. Today we are taking it easy, cleaning up the house and finally finishing decorating for Christmas. While I'm decorating, I figure I would think about all the things I want for Christmas as a book lover. And maybe I'll share with that with you after I'm done. I'll make a list and then we'll go over it. Okay, let's go. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for the day and made my list. So as a book lover, I think these things, some of them I have on my list and some of them I would like on my list. The first category I'll say is like stocking stuffers because they're small things it's like bookish stickers. There's so many generic bookish stickers on like Amazon, but there's definitely a lot of small business shops out there, bookish shops that have more customized stickers as well. Would love me some romance lover stickers. Also sticky tabs for when I annotate books, whenever that will be. But I love these sticky tabs that are color coordinated. So they would look really cute inside the books. Uh, they're not expensive at all. And I think any book lover would look, love them as well as me. Another thing, like I think it would be a great stocking stuffer idea would be like a pop socket for my Kindle. Uh, I have the kind that you can change out and I would love to just change them out every once in a while. Um, I love the pop socket that I have on right now, but I'm always up for a new one. Also another small item that I think could be like a stocking stuffer um but it could also be a gift is like a library stamp or a library embosser or like a, a book page embosser i saw these things on amazon but i know that they have them on etsy as well like where you can personalize them or customize them um and i just think they're really cool like i've always wanted one for my library but it's just not something that i've ever thought to buy myself or wanted to buy myself so if i got it as a gift it would be really awesome now larger things that i think would make a good gift if you want to spend a little bit more money um i already have a kindle but if the book lover in your life does not have a kindle they need one i'm sure they already want one but sometimes it can get expensive and they're not terribly expensive, but if, especially if you catch them on like an Amazon day or like today, Black Friday, they're always on sale. So I definitely think the book lover in your life needs a Kindle. Uh, another thing that if they love to listen to audiobooks a lot, 
is headphones. I don't think we could ever have enough pairs of headphones. I don't know about you, but I lose mine a lot. I have earbuds that just like wireless earbuds. I love those um, for certain times. And then I have large over the ear headphones. I love those the most because then I can block out. Well, I can block out well everyone, <laughs> but they're not always that comfortable like when I'm laying down. So what I have on my list is actually a pair of sleep headphones, but I really want a pair of these sleep headphones. I don't know how well they work or how well they sound, but I almost don't care. And I think they would be great for somebody who listens to audiobooks. Now, if you don't like, if you want to really buy someone something special, like something that again, I wouldn't buy myself, but I would love to receive is a subscription box. They have so many different bookish subscription boxes that I, I can't buy them all. They all come with like special editions or sprayed edges, um, boxes that I would love to get. Hello Lovely box, cover to cover book box, the mystic book box, any of the romance book boxes I would love. I'll create Illumicrate fantasy boxes. Those are great as well. Um, they just always have the coolest bo books, but they they can be expensive. So I think they would make a really nice gift that keeps on giving, especially if they do like a three month or six month subscription. Other subscriptions that I know you can make or you can gift to people, things like Kindle Unlimited, Audible, Scribd, um, all those types of monthly subscriptions that it would be so nice to not have to pay for that yourself. And if somebody gifted you that as a book lover, like I would love that. And then I think the last thing um, that you can get anywhere, whether it be Amazon or a small, sh a small business, um, if you want something more unique or personalized or customized is what I consider the cozies, cozy things, blankets, sweatshirts, mugs, candles, all the freaking things. Anything that makes you cozy when you read and provides that ambiance when you read, those are the best things. And they could be anything. They don't have to be bookish, but of course I would love a bookish sweater. I mean, look at this sweatshirt from Fugly Barbie. This is my to die for sweatshirt right now. I would love to get this as a gift. Like I would, this would be my top tier gift <laughs> as a book lover for Christmas. Hopefully that gives you some ideas. Um, I'm going to relax, maybe clean myself up, but probably not because today is a day for relaxing and not doing anything. If you have ideas of your own, let me know because I'm always open to adding more things to my Christmas list. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you soon in another video, hopefully one where I'm not like recovering from being sick. All right, bye.